Hello everybody, welcome to the Rook and Crystals channel. My name is AJ and today we are going to be taking a look at what is the difference between crystals and gemstones anyways. Whether you are a seasoned crystal collector or just starting on your crystal journey, you may have wondered what is the difference between crystals and gemstones. You may have heard certain ones referred to as crystals and others referred to as gemstones. Why are they called by different names when they are all different form of minerals? These names help gemologists and other gemstone professionals keep track of the types and quality of stone that they are working on so they can price them accurately and give them descriptions for buyers and collectors. Even though there are a lot of similarities between these stones, crystals, gemstones, stones, rocks, however you like to call them, minerals, they have uh, many things that set them apart. For example, to the naked eye or unsuspecting individual, a very clear and high quality quartz could even look like a diamond. But these two stones have uh, these two stones rather have a very different quality in how they are created within the earth. A gem is usually a rare mineral. Gorgeous stones that are cut with care and precision to ensure that they are shown in their best light. They are usually smaller stones since they are so rare and difficult to find because the clearest and best parts of the stones are used, of the stone rather, is used. A good example of, well, of a well-known and loved gemstone is the diamond, which is one of the most expensive gems in the world. Rubies, sapphires, emeralds, and topaz are other rare expensive gemstones that are highly valued for their appearance and for their rarity. There are some, uh, these are some rather of the most valued and sought after jewels in the world and they are found for various prices at varying levels of quality. There are precious gems as well as uh, semi-precious gems. Crystals, on the other hand, whilst absolutely beautiful in their own right, are pure minerals and substances which can have molecules that take on a regular geometric pattern. You can have a gem that is a crystal, since it will uh, have been a very clear and bright crystal cut into a gemstone, but a crystal will not always be a gem. Crystals are solid that have ions, atoms, and molecules fixed together, which creates a three-dimensional -dimens shape. But when comparing gemstones and crystals, gemstones are always likely to be a higher priced stone. To study the value of a crystal or a gemstone, you have to look at the hardness, specific gravity, refractive index, durability, and fluorescence. But in short and in summary, you can think of gemstones as those prized and rare pieces of stone, whereas a crystal, also very beautiful, doesn't necessarily have the same value as a gem stone. A stone is a stone, and a gemstone is one of the most beautiful parts that you might find in a stone. For example, ruby or even diamonds are not always gemstones just because they are rubies or just because they are diamonds, but ruby stone or diamond as a, as a stone uh, have a variety of qualities to them, clarities, inclusions, colors, and when you get just the right color with just the right clarity and, and at uh, certain other characteristics, size and various things, shape, then what you might end up with is a gem of that particular stone. So there's your gemstone. That's, that's a gemstone. A crystal is a crystal. That's a formation. Uh, it's a certain way that, a, that uh, the mineral is formed into a particular shape of geometry. A crystal is a crystal. And a stone is a stone and a gemstone is that prized piece of certain types of, of stone. So I hope you have enjoyed today's video. Consider dropping a like on this video if you liked it. It really helps this channel to grow and subscribe if you're interested in learning more about crystals because we are going to be talking about different crystals every single day. And if you're looking to buy crystals and gemstones, check out our Rockin' Crystal Shop linked in the description below. It definitely helps to support this channel when you shop for crystals at our shop. And lastly, we are doing a crystal giveaway from our Rockin' Crystal Shop every time we upload a new video. 
you are allowed to enter into our crystal giveaway contest. All you need to do is leave a comment and let us know what you love about crystals. Also be subscribed to this channel and we will choose for every single video that we upload a random winner from our commenters to receive a lovely prize from our rockin' crystal shop. You may enter into as many contests as you want. Every single video is a new contest and I hope to see everybody in the next video.